Hey guys, in this video, our focus will be how can you do a pretty printing of a JSON string. So, what is the meaning of pretty print JSON string? We will understand everything in detail one by one in this video. In my last video, we have learned how to utilize the API key in the API URL and print the data. Let me just print this entire code so that it will help you to recall what you have learned in the previous video. So here I am going to type a city name Goa and you can see the entire output from the server has appeared something like this. Let me copy this to a notepad. Now if you see the data has appeared something like this. Now it has become a very difficult and a tedious task for me to find some data properly. For example, if I say you find the temperature of the city. Now there are a lot of texts. Now you have to slowly go through, go through and then here you find something called temperature and here you have the data. This is not very human friendly. So pretty format is how can you convert this JSON string into a format that is more human friendly to read the data. So that is called pretty formatting. So how to do that? It is quite simple in Python. So let me show you. So this is the print data where we have got the server information and the JSON data we are trying to pass it and we have printed and the JSON data appeared something like this. Now what we are going to do, we are going to print it in a pretty format. So how to do that? Let's see it. It's quite simple. For that, first of all, let me create a variable just to create an understanding. I am using a variable called pretty data equals to and I'm going to use JSON. Do you remember we have used the JSON library in the previous video? Same thing I'm utilizing over here. JSON and there is a function called dumps. There is a function called dumps. Now using this function, I'll be able to convert the boring string into a readable string. Look at it. What's going to happen now where that entire string is present. Currently it is present in the data, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say data comma. It's not exactly the boring string, but again, it becomes quite difficult for anybody to read it properly, right? So that's where we are trying to convert in it in a pretty way. So this one I have done. Now I have simply said data. What I said data and after that just to create a proper this one we will use a parameter called indent and we can give some number. So let me give a number called 4. Okay. Now by doing this I will explain this but first of all see the output so that it will be easy for us to understand. So pretty data. Clear? So what I have done right now this is 4. 4 pretty formatting the JSON data. Understood? What we are doing? We are trying to pretty format the JSON data. Clear? Now let me run this and I will show you how the entire data appears. So let's say Goa. So you can see how the data has now appeared. Look at it. Now it becomes quite easy, right? If you see, if you look at the data, let me slightly expand this. Now this is the previous print where you got the single line and this is the second print where you can see the pretty format of the JSON. Now it becomes quite easy for anybody to read properly, right? So if I'm saying, let me copy this entirely till the end. So see, you can see there are a lot of data. So if I copy this, go to the notepad, delete this and paste it here. Now you can see how easy it is for you to read. So this is called pretty formatting. So that entire JSON has now been formatted in a way which becomes quite easy for you to read. For example, what is the temperature? Here it is. It is there inside the main. Now if I ask you how it is, how is the climate? Overcast clouds. There are clouds now at the moment. What is the wind speed? 1.01. Right? All There are so many different parameters. But again, our goal was to see it in a pretty format. Right. So we saw it. Now the question comes to our mind, Rakesh. Okay. We got the pretty formatting. 
what if out of this entire data set i would like to only find the temperature that's my job that's all i am i am fine with it so if i have to only target this temperature or let's say i would like to only see the description how is the weather at the moment in that case out of this entire data so i got this data right the you know finding the data is not a problem but here my question is how can i see a specific data out of this entire set of data let's say for example only finding out temperature from the entire json data so how can i find it now for this we need to break the json into small small parts that is something a new technique i am going to teach you in my next content so stay tuned and watch my next video where i am going to teach you the simple technique of targeting any value if let's say if you say hey rakesh i want to see the country you can find it let's say i would like to see what is the um, uh, you know any value for example what is the temperature mean and temperature max what is the humidity so any such values present in the data coming from the server we can utilize that technique to target that specific data and fetch them and put it into a variable so i am going to teach you in my next content so stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe and hit on the bell icon so that you get notification the moment the videos are uploaded onto my channel so thank you guys we are going to meet once again in my next content so thank you guys for watching your support is very much required please do subscribe to the channel and leave a comment on every video that you are watching simply say done give it a like and do share with your friends who like to learn from our channel thank you again you have a great day